Hello Miles, uh, my name is Stuart Patterson. Uh, this is a response to uh, your response to great atheist quotes. Um, I take your point um, about how you feel that certain totalitarian killers like uh, Stalin and Hitler and Kim Jong Il should be included in the uh, in the pantheon of, of, of great atheists. Um, I understand uh, what you're saying, uh, but I have two problems with uh, with that argument. Um, the first being, were were these bastards mass killers because of their atheism? Um, was it merely because they were atheists that they were despotic killers? Um, could it have been something else in their in their nature, in their psychology? Uh, was it Nazism or atheism that drove the Holocaust? Uh, was it atheism or communism that uh, powered Stalin? Was it atheism or barking dogmatism that drives uh, Kim Jong-il? Um, could it be that these kind of crazies, even if they were Christians, in, in the loosest sense of the word, um, would they still have killed millions? Uh, think about how the Third Reich had got mutants on their, on their, their badges and as, as a motto. They, uh, the Nazis uh, thought they were a Christian nation. Um, the other issue is that if we're going to get into a pissing competition over death tolls, uh, you don't want to start adding up the number of dead in the Bible from a, a global flood, from the destruction of cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, the genocide of the Canaanites and the Moabites uh, under Moses and Joshua and Saul and David, um, the death toll thanks to the conquistadors in South America, the, uh, the massacre of the Huguenots in France, um, witch burnings, uh, the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, the church can give Stalin and company a pretty good run for their money later.